Hey everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world. I have here two batteries hooked up to two relays and what I'm doing is setting up the 12 volt, 12 and 24 volt lead acid battery switch system so I will have one set of batteries in um, series for 24 volts and one set of batteries in parallel for 12 volts and put a load in between the two sets like you've seen me doing experiments and run the load the one set of batteries will run the load while charging the second set of batteries and then we're going to use some relays to switch them back and forth from time to time as needed and I'm going to fully automate this using some cool little devices here. I have these tiny little microcontrollers which will fully automate the system for me on my final commercial version and it will read the voltages and when the voltage of one set, it's going to be really awesome, I've got the programming all written down, I have like 10, 12, 15 pages of co programming code and wiring for running this but what's really cool is it's going to monitor both sets of battery voltages and the load voltage and it's going to switch it automatically as needed and monitor charging coming in if you want to have solar panels connected and make sure that nothing gets overloaded or overcharged or over discharged it's really cool so this is a little tiny computer um, for the geeks and y'all this is Easily about uh, more easily more powerful, I should say, than the Commodore 64, which was actually my second computer. But uh, it's pretty amazing to see the actual computer itself is that just that. That's the computer. That is a computer on one chip. That is just so amazing. The rest of this, there's a power supply and some interface leads. It's just so incredible. I just, uh, there's the geekiness coming out of me. Alright, anyway, enough of that. So what I have here is I've taken um, a normal car relay, alright, and they have a normally closed and a normally open uh, connection. And what I've set up is so when everything's at rest and the relays are off, we have a parallel state. So right now... I should have 24 volts, 24, 25 volts, because they're in parallel. There we go, 25 volts. I hope you can see that on the meter right there. To get another battery over here, connect these wires, and then I will be able to um, engage the relays, and we should be then in series for 12 volts. So I'm going to show you a lot, uh, you know, walk you along through this as I put it together and uh, show you the process as I go along. And um, I think it's just cool. And then you guys will see what all goes into making this system. And uh, then I'll be making some for sale. Now, this one is going to be more compact because I'm using the little small batteries. But these are, I forgot the wattage I'll have, or the amp ratings, I'll have to look. These are high current relays. And the idea is so that um, you'll be able to apply these in your home off-grid solar powered system or experiments as needed. I've added the plus and minus for the relay to turn them on. And I'm going to use an alligator clip on the negative. I'm going to use a positive on this one because it's harder to reach. I'm going to put an alligator clip here. Don't want to short anything out. Click that here. All right. So the relays are off. Batteries are in series, 25 volts. If I connect this here, we should not have an explosion. We should rather have this should turn to 12 volts, and they should be parallel. Click. 12.54 volts. They are parallel. I like it. Series. Parallel. Series parallel. I like it. Okay guys, I've got another set. Exact same system set up. I need, obviously, um, two sets. 
I've got the ground hooked up and I should be able to flip this and see um, right now they're in series and parallel 12.69 12.70 let go we're in series 25.38 parallel 12.70 working cool all right now I've put um, heat shrink tubing I gotta go get my heat shrink gun later protect any junctions like this any stress points everything else I love that this stuff has uh, heat shrink tubing built on now I've gone and combined combined <laughs> combined yeah I've combined the negatives of the relay coils to a common now later for testing purposes I'm going to dig out a toggle switch and I've used um, knife connectors for convenience so I can flip on this into parallel now that set is parallel or I can flip the switch when I get it and that will be parallel well guys I've added a switch here a toggle switch and we have 12.86 volts between that's the difference in voltage between the two sets of batteries so these are set for uh, in series to 24 and these are set in parallel to 12 at this time I can toggle that at this time by switching taking this wire off and putting this wire on here to switch the batteries around I have to get another toggle switch on but that's will come in a minute and I can turn this on and off that's the master kill switch you can hear it switch the power is off that's my master on off switch right there so that one's on. I'm going to hook this one on and then I'll be able to flip flop between the two sets of batteries. And then I'm going to do some tests and then we'll call it a day for this video while I program the microcomputer. Alright guys, I have this set up. It's a little bit of a glare on the meter. Can't see that meter, can you? There we go. Alright, I have everything set up. I have a cigarette lighter socket plugged in here and that's all working I have a heater a car heater here well, this is the one that I was using before so I'm not sure if the heater was any good if it was my wires that were giving me trouble but I'm gonna plug that into the cigarette lighter outlet I'm gonna flip the power on to fan only and we should see some current all right fan only we should see this dropping and this increasing uh, yep, it is doing so. Alright, now I'm going to put it on heat. We should have seen a massive change in current. This is dropping faster. That's rising really fast. Whoa. Uh, we have heat. Oh, wow. It is working. Nice. Nice, nice. I just don't like how fast that is going way, way well. This is working. With the little tiny batteries, that's too much of a low, but this is working very, very good, exactly as I had planned. Now, I'm going to have to discharge these on something in order to run this, because that was going up way too high. Everything started out pretty much charged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run the load on these and discharge them a bit so that I can be... Um, running the load basically this this set is going to run the load the heater and it was blowing heat this is going to run the, the heater and then the electrons flow through that into this set charging them and it really did but you should start with the discharge set of batteries to begin with because that's sort of getting scary high watch that that's the heat boy that that's blowing heat Look at that, 14, I got, I'm shutting it off, 15 <laughs> volts. That's going up too high, I have to discharge these. So we're definitely seeing a transfer of energy, and we're blowing heat. Discharging one set and charging another. Now I've disconnected everything from each other, and I've got this set hooked up to the cigarette lighter socket. Just, just this pair. I have them in parallel. So I kept, uh, I got my tripod sitting in a funny way so you can see that. I've got this set of relays 
turned on so these batteries are currently wired in parallel at 12.5 volts. Let me see if I can get that to show. Okay, had to close the curtains. So uh, I got 12.59 here. They went up, they were at like, I think they were 12.46. I've got the cigarette lighter connected here and these are in parallel. I'm gonna turn on the heater and run this down. And I should have heat. It's a horrible heater, I'm gonna to have to get a, I have a newer one. It's blowing heat, it is blowing heat. But it is pulling a serious load on these batteries. We are really pulling hard on those batteries. The idea is I want to draw them down so that when I run the uh, system together, I got somewhere for that current to go. When this set is running the load, the heater, and this set is charging, because that went up to 15 volts. That was scary fast how fast it went up. So I'm going to drain these a bit. All right, it's been an hour. I had to move the meter so you could see it. 11.80 volts. I'm going to shut off the heater. Except for occasionally checking the voltage, I've had this running steady for an hour. So um, I don't have a meter for checking that high of amps right now. So I'm not sure how many amp hours I have run. But we'll let this settle and we'll know how many... Um, volts it settles at after running for an entire hour with that heater. Alright guys, it's been an hour. Everything at rest. I've hooked everything back up. The This is now the run battery pair in series for 24 volts. The cigarette lighter socket is connected to the positive of this for the high voltage side and the positive of this pair which is 12 volts in um, parallel for the low voltage or negative side. I've reconnected the two grounds together through a switch and I'm going to turn on the heater and we're going to run this 25.36 this is settled at 12.23 this set will discharge this set will charge and well the load runs and we have obvious discharge obvious charging I don't know how long I'll be able to run it. Now these dropped already to 12. I think these are a lower set. Maybe I should have swapped instead of discharging these. Because these are already at 12. Well, it's okay. These were at 12.04 under load. So I think that's okay. Well, I'm going to run this a little while. And I have heat. Well, I was going to run this for an hour. Um, it's ran half an hour. But this is in its death throes and it's really annoying me. So I'm going to end it right there. That's the only reason I'm stopping this. That is absolutely horrendous. I'm going to have to replace that. Anyway, that is our experiment for today. And I'd call it a great and happy success. Please do like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I've got more cool pro uh, projects to come, including automating this which will use the microcomputer I showed you previously. This tiny, tiny little thing to watch voltages and swap switches back around automatically as needed.